Hello, love. Welcome to Yoga Life with Amber. I'm Amber. I've been practicing yoga for 10 years, and I got my yoga teacher training at the Asheville Yoga Center on the map. I'm also an ISA certified personal trainer. So know that I am going to be instructing you on some things with your core today, but listen to your body. Please also watch the diastasis recti video, making sure you don't have an abdominal split before you do these exercises. So I know a lot of you come to yoga and you want a strong core, and it's really, really important that we send love to this space, but also be respectful of its limitations or things that it can and can't do yet. Not yet. We are going to work on a strong core today. So join me on your backs, please, on your mat. We're also going to need a yoga block. For this video, if you don't have a yoga block, please feel free to grab a pillow, a ball, a blanket, like whatever you want, but something substantial. We'll use that later. So lying on your back, let's just start by bending your knees, taking your hands onto your belly, and let's just do five deep inhales and exhales. So inhale, Fill your belly up with air, extending into your hands. Exhale, hug your core muscles together, letting your muscles know we're about to do some work. So it's like you're zipping up those high-waisted pants, squeezing every muscle. Inhale. Exhale, hug. Threading those abdominal muscles towards each other. Inhale, soft belly. No squeeze necessary. Exhale, hug. Beautiful. Two more times. Inhale. Soft shoulders. Exhale. Hug. Last time on your own. Beautiful. So we never want to take the curve out of our low back in normal sub circumstances, but today when we're working, we really want to press the spine and the back into the floor when we're moving our legs towards the earth. Just remember that. So let's just start with a simple crunch. We're going to take our hands together, palms touch, and then on your inhale, stay here. And on your exhale, send the hands through the legs. Look forward. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. If you want to come up a little further, you can. I'm still four months postpartum, so I my muscles are fine. But I am going to be doing one version, and if you want to do a more advanced version, you can come through a little further. I'm just not there yet. All my postpartum ladies, hey, hey. <laughs> Good. So let's do this five more times. Five. So you really want to be squeezing these upper abdominals, hopefully building some heat. Good. Three. Beautiful. Two. Last one. One, beautiful, come back down, take a little rest. Take your arms out to the side in goal post. Open up your chest, let your core be soft for two breaths. Last one. Awesome, from here, take the knees, stack them over the hips. Make a 90 degree angle to the floor. Now this is where you're gonna notice your low back is gonna pop up. Press it, push it down, press the ribs down, hug the belly. Good. Now keep those arms out. Inhale, stay center. Exhale, take your knees over towards the left, not letting them touch the ground. Engage your belly, pull the belly button in, bring your knees back to center on the inhale. Exhale, take it to the other side. Inhale, center. Now, if you do this without being mindful, it might not feel like much of anything. But if you really use those belly muscles, Igniting them with your mind, you do have to be thinking about this, creating tension in your body in a way that builds muscle, you will feel this in your core. Now, if you're a little more advanced or you want to go to the next step, when you come back to the side, you're going to straighten those legs out and then inhale, bring them up straight. And then exhale to the other side straight. I'm going to keep mine bent for today, but if you want to go there, please do. Make sure you stack the knees. Good. Anybody feeling this yet? You might like scoot down your mat. I know that happens to me a lot when I'm doing this exercise. Beautiful. One more time on each side. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. 
exhale, twist. And inhale, center, beautiful. Plant the feet and then scoot up your mat if you need to. <laughs> like me. Beautiful. And then whenever you're ready, let's take the legs towards the sky like you're standing on the ceiling. You can take your hands behind your knees for a second if you want a little stretch. Stretch the toes around, ankles around. And then take your shoulders. Sometimes your shoulders are going to creep up towards your ears. Walk them down your back. Beautiful. And then take your hands by your side. Palms face down. Inhale, stay here. If you notice, this is already a challenge to hug your belly in. And just stay here for inhale. Exhale, take the right leg towards the earth. Inhale up. Exhale, left leg. Inhale up. Now, the hard part here is to hug your belly button in towards your core. It's really difficult to maintain that. So you can even keep your hand on it with your belly and make sure you're hugging, hugging. Or you can look forward. Still hug. So if you had a cesarean, which I did, you're going to feel all the muscles and probably your scar, especially if you're four months out. So just know, as long as you did the diastasis recti test and everything was okay, you're fine. It's just that scar tissue kind of making noise. Good. Now, if you feel like you have this and you can keep your low back pressed, then you could do both legs. Now, if you go here and you feel that coming up, like me, because my core is still trying to come back together, come back up. Inhale. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Good. And if this doesn't serve you, then just keep going with one leg and then the other. You might begin to feel this in your hip flexors. See if you can relax your hip flexors, maybe shake it out, and then go again. Let's just do five more. Five. Four. Good. Three, option to always pick your head up and look. It makes things a little more intense. Good, and then let's take a little break. Walk your feet as wide as your mat. Let those arms go back to cactus and then let both knees fall over towards the right just to kind of stretch out that left hip flexor. You can even wiggle that left foot more away from you or take the left arm over your head. Just taking a pause here to let your body stretch out and not be so tense all the time. Hopefully you're already feeling this in your belly. And help bring your knees back up through center to switch sides. I love this stretch. The first time I did it though, I thought my hip was gonna break. So you know I'm really tight in this space. Seems like I use my hip flexors for virtually everything. Good, and then let's slowly come back up through center. Yeah, now look at your block, ball, whatever you got. We're going to do a little bicycle, and you can do this without a block if you want. But we're also going to pass the block. So if you have something, that's awesome. The first thing we're going to do, look forward. Engage the core. Hug it in. Good. Bring the knees in. And then we're going to pass. Good. So if you notice your core is shaking, you're doing it right. So if you notice I'm shaking, I'm doing it right. Good. <laughs> Beautiful. Breathe. Feel free to take a break anytime you want. Good. Beautiful. Five. Four. Woo. Three. Two. One. And pause. Take the block over your head. Stretch the legs long. And then allow that really awesome big curve in your low back. See how you can, something could go under my back here. And just stretch those ab muscles out. For a couple breaths. Roll your ankles around. Beautiful. Maybe wiggle your butt a little bit. I always like to add a little butt wiggling to virtually everything. Good. So from here, we're going to keep the block. Hold it above your head. So this would be like easiest, okay, if you want to say it that way. And then more challenging, more challenging, more challenging, more challenging, super challenging. So wherever, whatever range you'd like, you're going to bring your feet up and grab the block. And then let go. Now we're back where we started with the other exercise. So remember, 
as you take your feet towards the earth, if you can't hug in and press down, don't go very far. You might just go to right here. That's your limit and you bring it back. Or you might go all the way and hover to the earth, but don't drop your feet to the ground. I'm just going to go right here and then bring it back. Grab it with your hands and then take your feet down as if you have the block, but you do not. Grab it again. Awesome. Press, press, press. So my back is making a little noise, so that means my back is coming up a little bit. So my limitations are real here, post baby, but I can still really feel this in my core. So wherever you're at, breathe. And no, I feel good. This is one of my favorite exercises, to be honest. I did this in a class one time, and I was hooked. Good. Let's just do one more time. Passing it back and forth. You feel my hug is going away. <laughs> Good. And then bring it back. Take a rest. And then just wind, show up for your knees from side to side. <sighs> and then take your hands to your core as your windshield wipe ring and just maybe close your eyes and send some loving kindness to this space because as women, maybe even men, you have to chime in and comment and let us know. I feel like a lot of times we hate on this portion of our body. We're like, oh, my belly's not flat. Oh, I have like a protruding belly or whatever it is. I just feel like that doesn't matter. Like, your core can be really strong. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Just, you don't have to have six pack. I used to want a six pack too, don't worry. Um, but I learned that my body just wasn't going to do that, and that's okay, and I really love my body more than ever now, post baby. I don't know if any moms feel like that, but I will forever be wearing like a bra or a crop top, because <laughs> I don't get it. So let's roll over onto your side. We're going to do both sides, and I'm going to stay facing you, so whichever side you want to start with is completely fine. So all we're going to do here is a side plank. So you can do it here on your forearm. You can do it all the way up on your hand if you'd like. You can stack your feet. You can stagger your feet. Or you can bring one foot in front of you. I'm going to do this version today. So pressing into your hand, your forearm. Pull the hips up. I'm just getting to where I could do a full side plank, but I'm just going to keep it real right here. I'm going to make up on my toes. And then take my right arm towards the sky. Pressing away from the ground out of your shoulder. So don't let yourself sink into your shoulder here. And all we're going to do is inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Or you can do opposite. Inhale. Exhale. Press. Whichever. We're just really working those oblique muscles. Good. Awesome. Let's do five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Beautiful. Come on down. And let's switch sides. Whichever version you'd like to do today, but just be confident in your choice. Reach it up towards the sky. If you have to have your hand down, that's fine, but we want to work towards hand on the hip or hand towards the sky. So we want to balance, work on our balance here and our strength. Slightly turn your belly button in towards your mat. Good, and then just slowly start to lower the hip, press the hip. It's really in the press that you'll feel those abdominals working. Inhale. That's the way I like to do it. Inhale, drop. Exhale, press. You want to exhale where you really have to work hard. Maybe come up on my toes. Give them light. Good. Anybody else feel it? <laughs> Beautiful. Five. Four. Three. Good. Two, last one. Awesome, come on down. Roll onto your belly. Good, and let's do a little sphinx pose to open up those muscles in the core, in the back. Chin towards the sky. So anytime you do core, you're gonna to wanna to do a little bit of back work too. Because our backs support our core. Strong core, strong back, very supportive. So let's do a tiny bit of work in our back. So, what I want you to do is take your hands by your chest, cobra pose, elbows back, squeeze in between your shoulder blades. 
and then slowly pick up your hands, steady lifted. Do you feel your back muscles turn on? You can stay here if this is enough, or you can pick your legs up too. Or maybe like swimming out. This will also get your booty. Strong butt, strong back, strong core. Woo! Good. And let's swim like, I think like a turtle here. Good. This will really get your butt. So let's do five, four, three, two, one. Pause, make a little pillow for your face. Relax. Take your breath into the back body. So if you had, if I had my block here, well, let's just do it. Take your block on your back. And then inhale. Block rises towards the sky. Exhale. Hopefully it falls. Inhale. Exhale. Sending love and kindness to our cores. Our back. How many times have you complained about your back fat? Let it go. Everything we're doing right now is from a space of love and care and desire for strength, but also for acceptability, for grace. We need all those things. We can't just be strong all the time. We have to have both. So now we're going to do a plank. If plank does not work for you, if your core isn't strong enough for plank, please skip it. But this is what you can do. Pull your belly button in and just hold here. This is also challenging. Or tuck your toes, come to low plank. Now from here, we want to dome through the shoulders, press into the forearms, hug your core in. It might even look like I'm rounding my back a little bit because I am. I'm really squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. Stay here, or if you'd like to, tap one hip, tap the other. So pick your flavor and breathe. Really pull that belly button in. You have to wiggle your toes if you're moving. That's fine. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's melt everything down. Take a little rest. We're almost done. Just notice that that got your heart rate up, how your core feels. Beautiful. And whenever you're ready, place your hands, tuck your toes, send your body back to high plank push up position. So spread your fingers really wide, hug your core, down through your shoulders, press away from the earth. Stay here, or maybe pick up your right foot, just barely hovering over the ground. Hold. Beautiful. Drop the foot. Switch sides. Try to keep your hips square to the earth. Drop it in, and let's do a downward facing dog. Stretch your spine out. Stretch your belly. Bend your knees a little bit. A little slight bend in your elbows. One more deep breath. Let's take our dog for a little walk. Beautiful. And then come back to high plank push up position. Take your right knee to the earth, right hand in front of your face, left arm to the sky, modified side plank. Lift that left leg, reach your, right, your, reach your left arm over your head, and then we're going to exhale, bring everything in, crunch. Inhale, extend. Exhale, crunch. Good. Try to keep that leg as high as you can, working your glutes at the same time. You're doing great. Keep breathing for five, four, good, three, two, Last one, come to center, switch sides. The other side, whichever one. Inhale, reach. Exhale, crunch. Good, 
So if you can't keep this to like really high, that's okay. Do your best. You can even tap it if you want. It's a lot of work in your booty. <laughs> Good, but really squeeze your belly too. Good. Four. Three. Awesome. Two. Last one. Great. Awesome. Come to your knees. And then come onto your glutes. Last thing. It's yoga, so you know we gotta do a boat pose. This is kind of like a yoga exercise mix. Good. So take your hands behind your knees, pull your feet up, 90 degree angle, and then rotate your heart open. Good. And then relax your arms if you'd like. Maybe straighten your legs if you'd like. Whew. Good. And then just slowly, 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 slowly come to your back. I'm gonna grab my knees because my core isn't there yet. And I'm good with that. Lots of grace for myself. Especially if you're a mama, lots of grace for your healing. Take your hands on your knees if you're on your back, pull the knees in toward your chest. And then just press your knees out towards the earth, rocking from side to side. Giving those hip flexors a little love. And then big circles with the knees. Good, opposite direction. And grabbing the outsides of the feet, happy baby pose. You can rock from side to side if you would like, or just stay in stillness. Deep exhales for the fact that you've worked so hard today. Bring the feet to touch. Press your knees away from you. Send some gratitude for yourself. You took time out of your day to do this. Take your hands onto your belly one last time. Windshield wiper the knees from side to side. And just send yourself some loving kindness into the space, into your gut, knowing that this is not just physical. This is your powerhouse, this is where you should lead. And yoga, they call this the first mind and this the second mind. So when your gut tells you something, when you're like, oh, I got a creepy feeling about that, you should trust it. Don't let your mind try to talk you out of what your gut says. So let's take the legs on and then wiggle your shoulders underneath you a little bit so you have a little space between your low back and the ground. And your arms can be wherever you want, but for today I'm gonna take mine up because my shoulders are tight. Walk my shoulders underneath. And just set up for a really soft, easy Shavasana. Quartz pose. Close your eyes. Just allow your breath to be soft. Even though we've worked so hard on being strong. This is the time to relax. You can shut the video off here and just lay here for at least 5 to 10 minutes. 10 is optimal. And then I will see you next time. Thank you so much for joining me today and for honoring yourself and your core. Namaste for today.